Hello, we are going to review the SMTP or scan the email setup on a Canon copier. There are a number of things that you need to do this. You will require the IP address of the copier, a web browser, an internet connection, admin credentials to access the copier, the SMTP server name, SSL or TLS requirements, the SMTP username password, and the SMTP port. So let's get started. Go ahead and open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the copier on your local network or home office. Log in. For this device, the ID and PIN is 7654321. This should be documented somewhere within your company, or if not, your local dealer can assist you with that. Select no. From here, select Settings Registration. You are accessing the web portal of the copier now, so you can make changes. Function Settings and then Send. From here, select Common Settings and then Network Settings. And from here is where you can enter your server name. So this could be Gmail, this could be Exchange, um, GoDaddy, uh, anything that you folks have on site or purchase through a hosted uh, server. So smtp.gmail.com, uh, smtp.office365.com, or an exchange IP address or an exchange host name. The email that you would like, the from address. If you require SSL or TLS, please select this. If you require SMTP authentication, please select this. Enter the authenticating email or user. And then from here, enter the password. Now the Canon copier defaults to port 25. So if there's any other port requirement that must be changed in a user mode or a service mode, depending on the model. So what I would do is contact your local servicing dealer if you're unsure of the process for changing the port on the copier. But the copier defaults to 25. Once you're done, select OK. And you're ready to test. This setup is assuming that DNS, gateway, and all IP settings are correct and current. So please check that before any testing or anything else. Thank you.